quiet. Watching this back for SSG. Hmm. Actually, quite intriguing how things run for Rise Nation. What is up, bra fam, and welcome back. You can see we're back with some more Pro League tips, and we got a good variety in this video, and you'll even see some Kaid for the first time since it's the new season, and he's now playable in Pro League. I'm also planning out a Pro League tricks video with only Kaid and Nomad tricks used in Pro League against other pros, so if you want to see that video, leave a thumbs up, and that would be much appreciated. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this trick. The window pixels aren't new in Siege, but this one used in this recent Pro League game is a super sneaky one that I haven't personally used before. Hitting bolts, I think Charles still has the smokes though, and Bosco might have a couple nades kicking around. They used one to down crazy. I don't know if he still has the second, but with 20 seconds left, it's just gonna be a clown fiesta outside the big window as Charles and Brian will assimilate inside and rushing straight through some toxic gas, choking on it, vaulting straight through acid, will cut down one, evading the fire on his windows, and Vandal the saving grace up against the windows. Brian will fall, and now last alive will be Bosco, and he will now warming up with a quick smoke trick before we get into the kind of questionable one that's going to follow this one. This is going to be a clever way to hold off the big window that will almost always have an attacker on when you defend in dorms. If you're not smoke, you could also yeet a C4 from down here and make it land outside of the window, which is especially good for when you need to counter that annoying blackbeard that's camping on the window. Or of course, when time is just running down, they're going to have to come through the window and that's going to be an easy kill for you from below. Backs out there, usually you'll see a smoke field playing in it. Ooh. But England the botch. just falls back, and as you say, yeah, that's a bit of a botch uh, smoke canister. Grenade to the back, only doing a bit of damage to acid, so not really doing anything on its own. Smoke being thrown into the back, but no damage either being done to space station. This is actually pretty funny. Oh no, he's gonna try to clip it through the wall. Brian so close to get the plant off, but there's one player down. That's crazy. Brian will get fragged, and England and Vandal will find a kill each. The flick from Vanel is trying to, to spray through the soft wall. Alibi trying to rotate away and the play from the opposite end. Trying to clinch, uh, clinch up to her opponents. England will find one more kill. Shotgun in hand. Hold on one of Vanel with the refrag. Thinking nade. Watching it from above, but a whiff every single shot and hyper to take him out. Five players left alive at the end, even with a pickup on the mute. And Rise Nation pick up a third round on the board. Now, I don't know if Pro League rules pinpoint exact details like this, but this is pretty similar to how Capital Firebolts could sometimes clip through walls. And before, I gotta admit, I used to think it was a game mechanic, especially when you put it onto like wooden walls and it goes through a little bit. That kind of makes sense with it being fire. But I do have to admit, I, I may have been wrong. I don't believe that this is an intentional mechanic from Yubi, and this smoke canister that was used in Pro League obviously isn't supposed to be able to go through some bricks. I didn't even know about this specific spot, but I can already think back to some recent games where diffusers were planted here, and it's a good spot to plant if you can get it down, and this just completely breaks it, especially because smoke can be tucked away safely without any risk of being taken out in the little room. It's one thing if firebolts burn through some wood, but some yellow smoke traveling through bricks? Uh, I don't think so. But what do you guys think? Is this a glitch to you or just a gray area in game mechanic? Oregon. On defense, though, they might have that same kind of success that Rise had. Well, Nomad and Kite both are in play. So, pretty excited for that. Air X200 being played by Acid. A lot of damage to mention before. 44 mag as well in the back pocket. England playing Thermite will open up the. Oh, Electro. Ooh, Wah. that's from downstairs. Yep, from down. That's, that's a Kobe maneuvering. Now they realize it's very much yeah, Tila that Oh, oh! no! Chala with the free kill. Look at how crazy. Oh my god, how low on HP he is. Almost a free kill and a free double for Chala, but not yet. Crazy is able to escape with his dear life. Moving on to our first Pro League Kaid trick, we have an electric law that is being thrown through a hatch from the floor below in the basement in order to juggle the stage wall which assists his roaming teammate holding meeting. This Kaid throw is also pretty nuts because you can even reach one floor higher up in order to hit the third floor which is also usually reinforced. 
If they don't have their Maverick or Thatcher, these walls are invincible and if anyone comes through the meeting door, the Roamer will smack them in the face and if they do have a Mav or Thatcher and they're on the other side of the map, they're going to have to run around to assist in opening up this wall, which is going to drain a ton of time. Now on the opposite side of the softball, you can see Crazy. Oh! Ah, there we go. Hyper will drop him down from Harry Potter. He also had Crazy in support. Another one rotating down Hyper with two now. They all try to converge on Hyper, but they'll all meet six feet underground. Well, you can definitely see Maestro disappointed in that face plant, but his evil eye will get taken down as well. Hyper, the close angle is being used against the main pole to bottom floor, so. They can't even push against Hyper or anyone else from Rise Nation. And with Vandal finding one. This next one is a crazy tiny angle that Hyper was using to watch the flank. Looking slightly to the left of where the staircases meet each other, you can see through the walls on stage to see anyone approaching from this direction. Now you probably won't be able to always get the kill perfectly because the line of sight angles up slightly, but while getting the kill from this exact peak may be rare, you can still gather the intel and see if there's movement while you're fully protected. Once you see movement, you can always strafe to the side and start the pre-fire, it's going to give you a huge advantage. That he has to run through Bosco with a quick rotation over the side and right next to him. No! England gets a free kill as Rampy will find one. Make that two, but the air jab does the job and acid. Goodbye, Rampy, as he gets ejected off the face of the site. And that's the power of Nomad, ladies and gentlemen. Rise Nation pick up a fifth round, and that is so frustrating when you cover the rotation positions, and we saw it just now. The first air jab in Pro. Not really the crucial part of that, but it was cool to see. He got yeeted to the other side of the door frame and completely exposed and couldn't bring up a gun to fight. So that's part of the animation. Trick number six is the ultimate hold and lockdown on the tower bomb site when you have a nomad. Once you clear the tower and you know that the last couple defenders are being forced to rotate through meeting, you can get a pretty much guaranteed kill when they come through to retake site by placing your air jab in this corner. Once they approach the doorway, they will get launched out from the tiny little space out into the open floor on the tower, right into the line of sights of the attackers. The only rotation that would be really fast would be dropping through the meeting hatch and coming up the tower stairs, but once the plant is down, and if they don't have those options, they're almost guaranteed to lose the round. At least you got to cast aces. Yep. Actual, like, ace, you know, fives. Yeah, Parker can suck it. <laughs> Parker can suck it. No aces for you, bud. All mine. Aces are mine. Thank you. Smile. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Love you, Parker. Fair enough. Well, it comes down to this. Space Station and Rise. Will Space Station Gaming acquire a fifth tie on the docket? Will Rise grab a point? They've... Now, outside cameras by tower aren't new, but this is another variation that we can add to our arsenal of outside tower cams. If they catch you throwing a cam onto the roof, they won't be prepared for how the bra fam now has probably about 10 different variations of outside tower cams that we can just switch to for the next round. And of course, if that doesn't convince you enough, just look at this game where I saw them use this spot on multiple rounds and get away with it. Anyways, you guys, I hope you learned something new in this video that you can take into your next Games of Siege with. I'm already working on the outline for the next vid, and it is going to be a nutty one that I know you'll really enjoy. I love you guys all. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Peace.